Hello, in this video today we will show you different options to achieve uh, halos from the freehand parts. Okay, because if we go to the freehand parts, there is some models that you cannot have them with all the different stone shapes. For instance, if we go and look at the, at this one, you see these are all the shapes that we have available. So let me just bring it on and I will show you different ways to achieve the same result with different parts. So let's load this model. All right. I will just move it to the side. And now what I will do is bring another freehand part. And we will use, let me think, if I go and do like this, as you can see, we have many, many, many different settings. So let's use this one. Let's see, because I want a peer shape. All right, so I will do it with a peer shape and this setting. So as you have seen, the double halo, double halo that I uh, choose, it didn't have the peer shape. So now what we are going to do, build it up with this freehand bar. Okay, so first we will start with the stone and the setting. Okay, there is many different settings, so if you want to change the the prongs, you can change the setting, uh, setting prong size, gem height. So here you already have different options. Okay. Then I will bring a setting, but I want to bring a halo which allows me to place a pure shape. So let's see if I can achieve it with this one. And let's see what options this one gives me. All right, so now I have the halo here. What I will do first is look for the peer shape. This is the peer shape. And now I will reduce the inside width. until I get the shape that I'm looking for. I will bring it down like this. And what I will also do is just take metal out because I want to have the look pretty close to what I have here. All right. And now what I need to do next is again select the same one so I can go back here and select the same one so I go to this one and now you will see There we go. Again, we have still the square shape. I'll move it here. And I will choose the pure shape from up here. All right, so now I'm just getting the pure shape. Very good. Uh, I will make it more like this. And as you can see, you are getting the pretty much the same. If you want to lower the metal, you can do it. So the gems spacing, the halo profile height. And you get pretty much the same that we had here but with a pure shape. So in 
counter sketch you have many many different options and as you can see now we would have something pretty similar uh, you know that from from here from the when you select any of those so now I have this one selected so when you have this one selected you can change the primary and secondary metals what does this mean that now if I change the metal I will be able to select just say 18 this one and because this one I selected that I wanted secondary I can go here and change it to just say rose gold all right also something that you can have before I went back to the library to add a new one but what you can also have from the options is go here and you can duplicate the selected so now I will have two of the same one all right so now if I wanna there we go so now I would be able to get this one again I have all the options here so I will be able to bring it a bit lower and then we will be creating like three different uh, halos so let me just move it a bit more and now I will do the same with the width all right so here we go now we have like a halo with three different rows if I want to change the metal again I can go uh, here so now I can go and say that the primary metal I want to be 14 white and I get this look so I hope that this video is useful so it's just showing you how to achieve different results with counter sketch I hope you enjoy it thank you